Hi, it's Mike from Backyard Boat Works, and uh, so today's project is we're going to start on the rails for the dinghy. Uh, I just finished cutting up one of the uh, pieces of mahogany into two inch sections, uh, and that's going to be our first project. So let's get at it. Now I'm going to install the spacers for the rail. Uh, I've cut these all up into two inch sections. Uh, there's a bunch of them there. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put them there and then mark them with a pencil. It's kind of hard to do with while well, I'm holding the camera. And I'll just keep marking the spaces as all towards the front. And then I'm also going to work from the bow back. And there might be a slight discrepancy in the spacing. And any discrepancy I'm going to put underneath where the oar lock goes so you won't notice it. And uh, that way I think it'll probably be the most even way of doing it. Um, and anything that's maybe not quite perfect will be hidden under the oar locks. So that's where we go next. Okay, so you want to sand and clean out the uh, little notches here for the, uh, for the rails go if, if they've got epoxy in them. Okay, so I'm marking off where the uh, spacer blocks go, and then we'll come back and glue these a little bit later. I've vacuumed the area where the blocks are going to go. Uh, I think the next step is we're going to wipe it down with... Oh, nope, not with acetone. <laughs> Uh, how about some denatured alcohol? So we're going to wipe the area down with some denatured alcohol. We just make sure it's clean and there's no dust left on there so we get good adhesion with those blocks. Yeah, hopefully that doesn't mark off. Wipe off my uh, pencil marks. If it does, I guess we'll just go back and do it again. No, I think I can still see it. So uh, we're going to install the little spacer blocks on the rails. And I'm just going to put a light coating of this thickened epoxy. Marked it off. Clamp it on there. And then of course we're getting some squeeze out. I'll come back after it's after we've done probably the whole thing and do the cleanup on it. You gotta kind of be careful. Once you put the, you think you got it in position, and then you put the clamp on there, and the epoxy is really slippery, and then it tends to want to kind of move a little bit. So it's probably not bad to check back on your previous one. So I will continue on down the rail, and um, we'll show some video of once it's all done. So it's the next day. Uh, the epoxy has set up on the blocks, so today's project is to install the first layer of the outer rail. Uh, as you can see, I have glued on the um, 
inner blocks on the inside. And my first step then is, I, as you can see, I've already drilled a couple of holes and we're gonna screw, first I'm gonna coat the first like three foot of this rail with epoxy. And then we're gonna screw it in a couple of spots here. And then we will continue uh, just working our way back to the, to the end of the boat. So we'll see how this goes. Okay, I'm going to drill one more hole about here. So now what we're going to do is drill a hole through the block into the outer rail, plus we're going to clamp it. Now I want to make sure my countersink is at least flush so I can put the inner rail without it being put the And it is. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, we put a clamp on there. Okay, so you see what the process is, and I will just continue on around to the end of the boat. Okay, so I've got the first outer strip installed, and um, I'll have to say that went a lot smoother than I was anticipating it was going to. Uh, you can see there's a couple of screws that held it at the very ends, and then we had a couple of screws that held it at the, the bow. So... Um, We'll let that dry for 24 hours and then we'll go on to the in, in wall or the inside strip there. So it's starting to look pretty good. Thanks. Today's project is to install the inner rail. Uh, you can see I've got it kind of dry fit so I could cut, I cut that angle up here at the, the bow. Anyway, it's just dry fit in there. So now I can figure out where to cut it here at the uh, at the stern. So I'm going to trim the back part of the inner rail and I've marked it but I'm, I'm, I'm going to cut it about a millimeter longer so I have a chance to sand it to make sure it is going to fit there. Nothing worse than cutting something a little too short. 
So I'm going to put this piece of plywood underneath and I can. so that when I cut, I end up scratching the quarter rails here. All right, so that should protect it. And I got my little Japanese pole saw. sand it until I get the uh, perfect fit. Sand that. And we're getting close. All right, I'll just keep at this until I get the perfect fit. All right. I've got it in there. It looks pretty good. So now I'm going to end up pulling this all out. And then I'm going to uh, coat all the surfaces with epoxy and we'll reclamp it back in. That was a little sloppy. So I've got all the epoxy coated on the inside of this. So now we're going to see if we can get this clamped back in here. And this is, this is going to be kind of a and touchy because we got to really bend this. Where I'm bending it is more up here in the front. I can arch it and get it into these notches. Okay, I can get it kind of part way and then I'm going to do some clamps. I'd like to clamp it back here first. So we got it all in. I'm going to have to compress this in this area. It's looking pretty good. Okay. All right, so I'm just going to fill the rest of this in with clamps. And I'll do some fine tuning, but I think that that's looking pretty good. Thank you. This looks like a good spot to put an end to the video, so uh, if you've enjoyed it, I would appreciate a thumbs up, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.